Welcome to the Simple Software Training University video number 214, the process menu. In this video, we will go over all the options in the process menu. This menu is for performing processing and some image manipulation on a batch already in progress or to find out further information about the batch. We can open Simple Index and I already have a configuration open for this. And we'll notice in the process menu, all the options are grayed out currently. This is because all of these options are only available when an image or a batch is currently in process or being displayed. So we'll run this current job so the images are processed and then displayed. Now that the batch is in the middle of processing, all the process options are now black and available for selection. Now, when you run a job, it automatically processes all the images with the job options that you have set up in the currently open job configuration. But the process menu, first of all, allows you to reprocess those images or reprocess the entire batch. So if you want to recognize an image that you're currently viewing, then you can process selected files and also just like all, all other options with the shortcut keyboard interface, this one is control I and you can kick off this option with the shortcut. So when I process selected files, it reprocesses the image and it, it reads the information as it was in the job configuration. This is very useful when you make changes to a job configuration and want to reprocess one of the images in the batch without having to start over from scratch. Reprocess batch reprocesses the entire batch from beginning to end, removing all the index values that were previously recognized after the run job. This is useful if you make a change that you want to apply to the entire batch but don't want to have to rescan or re-import the images again. This is also useful when you're importing PDF files that are being recognized. That way you don't have to convert the PDF to TIFF and wait for that process to happen again. OCR to Word, HTML, PDF, or the shortcut keyboard control H allows you to OCR the current image on the fly. So when I click that, it asks me what folder I'd like to save to and what format I'd like to save to. So if we save to an MS Word doc and hit save, we can see the full page OCR happening in the processing section here. And then once it's done, we can navigate to the folder and view the Word file as a full text Word file that can be edited. So if we open this, we can see all the text in the Word file as it was converted by the OCR engine. You also have the option to do PDF plus text, RTF, HTML, and TXT or Word or Notepad files. The OCR to clipboard or the shortcut control O is a screen scraping OCR that allows you to set up a screen scrape from another application so that way you can OCR directly from a Windows application directly instead of having to save to an image file to be processed with Simple Index. This will be reviewed in another video and is mainly used to extract text from accounting applications that you don't want to directly integrate with. Test Barcodes allows you to test barcodes on the image that you're currently viewing. That way if a certain barcode isn't read on your job configuration after running the job, you can see if the barcode is properly read on the page itself. This is especially useful if one of your templates, your zones, or one of the other dictionary type fields is not allowing the barcode to be read and you aren't aware of it. So it tells you the first barcode that was read, if there's multiple barcodes, so it starts at number one, tells you the barcode font or type, tells you the coordinates that the barcode's located, tells you the checksum value if there is one, the confidence of accuracy, 
which is how confident it is that the barcode was read correctly, and of course the barcode value itself. When you're ready to go to the next barcode, you click OK, and then it tells you the next barcode and all the corresponding information, which on this image is down here. Rotate left, rotate right, not a rotate, which are Control L, Control R, and Control U on your keyboard shortcuts, allow you to rotate the page left or right. Or if you do auto rotate, it'll automatically rotate it to the proper orientation based on the text that it finds on the page. You can also use these buttons here to rotate and auto rotate is that button. Deskew or control K straightens up the image. So if it was fed through the scanner slightly crooked, it'll automatically straighten the page to where the page is straight. Despeckle the page or control D on the shortcut clears up any noise or black dots on the page that might be still remnants that weren't cleaned up from your scanner's scanning interface. For the processing log, we'll have to end this job before we can see what the processing log does. So when we turn on the processing log, we click Enable Processing Log. And then it asks what level of processing we'd like to use. Uh, it's a number one through five. Five being the most detailed, one being the least detailed. And then Enable Processing Log is checked in the Processing Log menu. So when you run the job, you now get a processing log generated to the log folder and your configuration file set job options. Our log folder is currently set here. So we see that the processing log says process underscore date, which is always the format that it uses. So anything from the same day will be added to the current processing log. We can see here that it lists everything that it does in extreme detail. Then we release the batch. It adds to the current processing log and has the additional information on the bottom, including how many seconds it took. That's the end of the Simple Software Training University video number 214, the Process Menu. We've seen how to use the Process Menu to reprocess images in the middle of a batch, OCR an image on the fly, test barcodes to find any barcode on the page, rotate, straighten, and clean up the image, and to turn on the processing log to see detailed information on every process that happened in the badge.